Good day wherever you're joining us and wherever you're watching. Like I said the other time that today is that D-Day that Kogi would decide. We're having five different commands aside Kogi here. We're having Nasarawa command, we're having FET command, we're having Venue State command, we're having Edo State command, and even we're having Kuala State command. And right now we're moving out and I'm not here alone. You can see we are good to go. I'm with the FEG Intelligence Investigation. I'm talking about FEG Stella Oladeye. And apart from that, I'm having the Quarafit Commandant, a very dogged man, good to go, no doubt about that. But we need to give situational report on how things are going on. So right now, let's go straight to Emo State Command. Let's see how things are going on. I'm, the, the, the spokesperson is right there to receive you. Check it out. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Our wonderful national DRO, CNC, Afolabi. Yes, I am with you, of course. This is Imo State Command of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. Of course, you can see yourself that we are set for the courtship election that is taking place in Imo State. Everything is set. As you can see, we have our our armsmen on ground, some have been dispatched or deployed to various places, some have joined in a show of force with other security agencies. So we are talking right now, we have uh, the presence of our extra four state commands joining Imo State Command, the host command for this election. The CG, in his wisdom, Commandant General Dr. Ahmed Abubakar Audi, MNI o OFR, in his wisdom, has directed uh, their commandant to accommodate other NSCDC commands around. And as we are talking right now, we have uh, four commands that have come to join the Imo State Command of NSCDC. Everything is set. What is remaining? is to go out there and the, tell the general public or the electorates to feel free to exercise their Sorry. franchise because it is their legal duty to choose who is their leader. Thank you so much. I am reporting from Imo State. Yes, you had it all from there. So right now we're going straight to Bayelsa State. Let's get to see the whole thing there. The spokesperson is right there to give us the situational report. We'll be right back, and you're going away. All right, good morning, the National PRO, CSC Bavali Afolabi. We are here live at the state headquarters of the NSCDC, Baesa State Command. And with me is DSC Diri Solomon, the PRO of Baesa State Command. I am Superintendent Olufemi Ayodele. As you can see, we have made meaningful deployment, ensuring that officers are well dispersed to various units and polling units and areas where election will be taking place this very day. Of course, it's a governorship election. The Commandant General, Dr. Ahmed Aubaka Audi, MNI OFR, has directed the ACG in charge of election monitoring I stand Commandant General Ayuba Philip, FCAI. He has addressed a crop of officers yesterday, and this morning the deployment had been made. The State Commandant, Baisa State Command, Commandant Lucy Fakoya, has also directed the officers to effectively carry out their duties without compromise. So here we are, ensuring that. The governorship election in Baesa goes free, fair, and credible. Our duties is to ensure the security coverage of every unit, most especially in the movement of election materials from designated areas to the polling units. So this is what we have come to do, and we can assure the good people of Baesa State that the voting will go on today peacefully, and the election will definitely be fair, credible. Well, thank you very much. As he has mentioned, the, in Bayasa here, we have eight local governments, and uh, for the past four days, we'll be redeploying our personnel to these eight local governments. 
class, as I can see in Southern Niger, we've redeployed our personnel. Those are flashpoints, so we actually redeployed them adequately. In Ekremo, we've done that. In Yenegua, we've done that. In Sabama, we've done that. In Brass, we've done that. In Obia, we've done that. So we can assure the general public that this election will be free, fair, and credible. Thank you very much.